hello guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach with you how you can create a login form in bootstrap file so here is the demo of this one project when you will click on the button tag then you are able to see pop-up box inside the pop-up box I have a login form you are able to use that inside your project so let me show you the example on that so i'm gonna use line on itutex.gmail.com and dot com and this will be password everything is a perfect close button this is fully responsive just a minute this is my click on that as you can see so let me tell you how you can get that so i go to my code editor open this one on the live server and i resize that i already mentioned the bootstrap css file and also javascript file so we don't need to use that because i just saved the time right so let's get start to work on that so the first thing i'm going to add the button to display the pop-up box inside the button i'm going to use uh, launch launch demo model right inside there we need to add some first i'm going to use button primary to display the and inside there we need to target the data bs toggle will be model and we need to assign the id so we need to target the data bs target we will use this one text or this one id inside our um, model form so i just call a uh, login demo when i will use the div we will use that inside the div section to display the form i'm going to show you in a minute first i'm going to say that and outside of the closing button tag i'm going to create a div inside there we need to assign the id which id which i have used on there so copy and paste on there right when you will click on that then this code will run right then the next thing we need to do we need to target the class so i'm going to class model fed right and i will use the inside there i'm going to call the class model dialog and i want to display that model will be center then i will call class model content inside the model content i will create a model body right and inside the body i want to display the close button first i'm going to save that let me show you click on that you can't see anything else because we need to add the content inside of our form tag or inside of our this one section right so i close that inside the body section i will use the first i'm going to display the button button tag type will be button right and also i need to type button on there the type is button and then i'm going to use class btn btn i just call class btn close btn close white right and then we need to add the attribute database dismiss dismiss and we need to target the model first i'm going to save that let's see you can't see anything else because we need to manage that right mm, just a minute i'm going to check the uh, so let's uh, display the form so i call class my form bg dark inside that i'm gonna call h1 tag and i'm gonna call login form and i'm gonna use text sender first i'm gonna set that let's see right 
as you can see but we will manage it with the help of CSS this time you just need to know how you can create that inside the bootstrap file so I call the form tag and use the action hash inside there I'm gonna call div and I call label and this will be email inside the email label tag I'm gonna call email address right and then I call input field type will be email class will be form control right and I call the same div in the next section to display the password right so password and this will be password first I'm gonna start the let's see right as you can see but you can use the placeholder to display the content but this time you are able to see in input fields and text has been I've been appeared inside our page so let uh, use the some margin bottom inside over there to make a space margin bottom 3 and also margin top will be 3 right and I'm going to use same thing inside our next div to make a space then the next thing we need to do we need to target the button to display the so when it's type will be submit or you can use button and I'm gonna use class btn btn light empty margin top three and call login right and after the closing tag I'm gonna use form I mean paragraph not a member then I'm gonna call anchor link sign ups so here is our simple javascript uh, i mean bootstrap code but we will work on the css i already included the css inside there so we know we don't need to use the we don't need to add the css inside of the project so so let's get start to work on that so the first thing i'm going to target the my form class that i have inside at the hair so the first i'm going to use max width will be 100 percent then i target the model body i'm going to use padding will be zero pixel right and then i call my form class so inside there i'm going to use box shadow will be zero pixel four pixel six pixel zero pixel and I'm gonna call RGBA to assign the color 26 to 6 and this is the alpha will be 0 0.18 right then the next thing we need to target BT and close BT and close so I think we uh, this one so we need to set up that so I call that and I'm gonna use position will be absolute and right will be zero and padding will be one yeah right and then the next thing I'm gonna call model content and I'm gonna use width will be 80% of the main container and zero pixel margin top and bottom left and right I'm gonna use auto right then i call model body class and inside there i'm going to call the padding zero pixel to reset that right then the next thing we need to target the btn close so i'm going to call btn close i'm going to use uh, i think i have used the btn close on our so I don't need to use that I already mentioned on there so let's check it now what is the next mm, h1 so we need to target the h1 and then this font size will be 2.3 em right 
and font weight i'm gonna use wall height and i target the my form my form class and i'm gonna use padding all side 2 em and max width will be 100 percent right color will be white right as you can see and i'm going to use box shadow it will be zero pixel four pixel six pixel and i think i have used same on there i don't need to use that again and again right and i have used that i'm going to remove that okay so i don't need to use that again and again right and also inside that i'm going to use simple media to manage the well skin size so i'm going to use max width will be five seven six pixel inside this one screen i'm going to use the max width will be max width will be 90 percent and i'm going to use margin top and bottom will be zero pixel zero pixel and left and right will be auto so first one said that you can't see any changes on the page because this is the skin size then the next thing we need to target the form control class this one right so copy it and target that i'm going to use background inherit background color will be inherit right and color will be white and padding left zero pixel i'm going to use border will be Zero pixel, right? First time we say that, right? I'm gonna use bottom. Bottom will be one pixel solid, and this is white. I think everything is perfect on there. Then the next thing we need to target the my form button class. So this one. So we need to target the my form dot btn so i'm going to use width will be 100 percent and font weight will be font weight will be 800 and i'm going to use background color will be white and border radius will be zero and padding top and bottom 0 0.5 em left and right zero so it's perfect the final step we need to target not final we need to target more than btn and i'm gonna hold that so color will be dark so first one say that right so let's talk about the paragraph tag which assigned inside there so first thing i'm going to use text align center and padding top will be to em color will be gray so right and then i call paragraph anchor link so here is a few things this is the paragraph this is the anchor link and this is a button so we have worked on that so the first thing i'm going to use the color will be e1 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 right and text decoration i'm going to use none right and the final one is the paragraph anchor link or the effect and i just change the color will be right so this is our simple form so i'm going to show you in large screen right 
it is fully responsive you are able to close that right and i'm going to show you in different screen sizes right so i hope you are understood as well all about how you can create a farm login farm using bootstrap file and i have used a uh, custom css to manage that so thank you very much for watching have a nice day